Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of Two Quota and Beyond. Uh, in this video, I'm going to run through two things, really. I'm going to run through how to find companies who have raised a round of funding recently, and then also show you the process that I would use if I was reaching out to these companies. So we're going to touch on Crunchbase, first of all. Crunchbase is the tool that we're going to use to find the funding rounds. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I would do with that information and how I would add that to my outbound sequences. But first of all, for context, for this video, uh, this is one of my other companies, and I'm just going to pretend that I'm prospecting for this service. This service effectively helps B2B SaaS companies increase their conversion rates when it comes from their website to free trial, free trial to paying customers. But for this example, I'm also going to pretend that I also offer a service that helps increase demo conversions as well. Uh, that's just uh, an example, but the rest of this website is all true and, and legit, and we do help people with their product onboarding. Anyway, jumping into... Crunchbase. <clears throat> Crunchbase is a huge database which gives you lots of insights onto the companies that have recently raised rounds of funding, as well as the contact data as well if you pay for it. I just signed up for a free trial, so I've got seven days uh, to show you this example. Um, however, it's around four to five hundred dollars per year, uh, and if you're working for a company, I'm sure they can find room in the line item budget for you. So um, first of all, I'm going to be looking at companies who have raised a Series A in the last year. Uh, as we're in February this year, it's um, only about two months or a month and a half ago so there's not going to be that many companies and the reason why I want to target companies that have raised a round of funding recently is because simply they're going to need to do things differently than what they've done previously to get them to that round. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to mention the fact that they've raised a round of funding but I know that they're going to have aggressive targets to hit based on the money that they've been given from the VCs or PE or wherever that funding has come from. There will be ambitious goals so they're going to need to do things differently and if your product or service can help them with any of those things across product, marketing, sales, uh, even hiring and growing out the team um, then this is a great reason and a good trigger to use when you're starting your outreach. Back to Crunchbase, as you can see I've got the deal info, so I've got Series A, uh, past year, and then on the funded company I can drill down a little bit more. So headquarter locations, I'm only targeting United States and United Kingdom, and the industries that I'm targeting is SaaS, marketing, sales automation, marketing automation, meeting software as well. Again, just for an illustration, uh, number of employees didn't, doesn't really matter at this stage um, because for me it's really around that Series A that I'm looking for. And as you can see in this list, we've got over 247 results and you can see information about their, um, <clears throat> the industry kind of keywords, the organization name, the funding type, Series A, because we selected that in our filter uh, over here. Uh, money raised, so you can see how much they've raised. Announcement date, when they raised that money or when they announced they raised the money. Uh, information about the description of each company and then the website as well. Now you can actually um, add columns here and include lots of different items on the on the columns but for now um, I'm just going to use this view. You can also export this to a, C, a CSV and have uh, perhaps a researcher or a freelancer go through and enrich this data but I'm going to show you now in live real time of how I'm going to do this on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, so I've gone through just to put out some examples to make this video a little bit shorter. Uh, I can see that chat desk have a get demo button and this is what I'm looking for. Are they offering demos or free trial or to sign up for free? Um, I'm looking at cohesion, their request a demo. Um, Atrium, I think, uh, is sign up. So they've got a free trial. Uh, get started free, uh, free in two minutes. Uh, Hemlane also have uh, try one month free, um, and this is exactly what the product and borders helps with. They go uh, the product and borders goes through all of the sign up process and gives pointers as where they can increase the amount of people moving into uh, to be activated as users and then converting into paid trials. Just an example, get started free in two minutes. One of the best practices is to put in here if they need a credit card or not. But I'm not going to put my product on borders hat on. Uh, I'm on in sales mode at the moment. Um, so I found these companies and, and they were in this list here as well. Uh, well. Let me just see where they are. So we've got Atrium here. We've got Hem, um, Hem Lane 2. And you can just literally click on the website like that or the link and it will open it into a new tab. And that's what I've got here. So um, <clears throat> because I'm targeting user activation, I'm really looking for the growth marketer or product marketer within this business. So what I'm going to do is just scroll down. This is typical for pretty much every B2B SaaS website. Click on LinkedIn and it's going to take me to their LinkedIn company page. Then I'm going to look at all employees on LinkedIn. And... I am looking for growth. Okay, so perfect. The first result, it doesn't always happen like this, uh, but uh, John looks like he's the head of growth at Hemlane. So um, he's going to be somebody that I want to speak to. 
Uh, if it wasn't him, it could be somebody to do with product. Again, I'm looking here, can't see anybody else in product at the moment. And then I'd look through the various pages. Obviously there's only 21, so there's only gonna be three pages not too much to, to get through here. Um, if I wanted to find the founder, I could actually just type in in, in, uh, in LinkedIn here, founder, and it will show me the four founders at Hemlane. So I can see that Dana is the CEO, Frank is the founder, um, Joe is probably the, the uh, co-founder. Oh no, that's in a different title, but anyway. So um, the person that I do wanna to speak to in this example is John, uh, but right now I don't have his email address and I'm not using Get Prospect, the other Chrome extension which I've covered before. But what I can do is I can go to hunter.io, which is a website that allows you to find the domain names as a best guess. So I'm just gonna put in the URL and click here. And it's giving me um, seven email addresses. And what it's suggesting is the most common pattern is first at, first, sorry, first name at hemlane.com. So I know it's John that I want to reach out to. So I'm gonna go into my inbox. I'm going to just type in John, and then I'm gonna type in at hemlane. And what I can do is just hover over this email address and look to see, I can see that this is John. This is the profile picture that was on LinkedIn. Um, and I can see that these are lit up. So when they are completely all gray, it usually means that the email isn't verified, but this would be pretty much safe to send. Now let's just dig into this email. Uh, less than 40 words in this email, very, very short, but very effective. Um, you can see the subject line is activations. And it reads, hey John, curious if you're open to chat, RE, increasing Hemlane's free trial activation rate. Hopier achieved an uplift of more than 30% in activations within 10 days of working with us. Would you be open to learning more? Now you might be wondering like, where did I get this data from? Well, actually I just took it from a testimonial from our website, which was from Hopier, um, where they were able to get a 30% increase in activations. So I'm using the language of my customers. I'm keeping the email very, very simple. I'm focusing on the business problem and the impact and what impact we can have on them. And I'm using a very soft call to action because all I wanna do at this point is get a reply. Um, so there you have it, uh, quite a short video um, about how to find companies who have recently raised a round of funding and then how you could go by on a one by one basis and prospect to these companies. I would be more than happy to record a video where we cover um, how to do this at bulk and perhaps I'll save that for another edition of Two Quota and Beyond. All right, happy prospecting.